We've gone over the binder full of women for uh, Romney. Turns out, of course, he was lying about it. He didn't demand to have a binder full of women brought to him because he wanted to hire more women. No, it turns out there was a coalition of uh, bipartisan groups who had demanded, whether it was a Republican or a Democrat, that they hire more women. And they made Romney hire more women. That's absolutely clear. Even his Romney spokespeople have come out and said, yeah, well, well we did work with that group, too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's a fair point, right? So he was lying about it. And then it turns out he said, well, I had more women in my uh, in senior level positions in my government. Turns out that's not true either. It, it was in the beginning. By the time he left office, it was lower than when he came into office. 30% senior level uh, positions in government. Before Romney, 25% as he was leaving, right? So, and then think about this too, which is a comment that a lot of uh, folks are making now. Like, He had to go ask outside groups, hey, do you know any women who are qualified to be in Massachusetts government? You've been in business 25 years. You don't know a single woman qualified to be in a senior level position in, Ma in the government of Massachusetts? Come on, man. You, you're just not paying any attention to anybody who could be qualified. You had to go to an outside. Can, can you got anybody got women? Anybody got a binder full of women? Because I don't know any women who are qualified to do this thing, right? Think about it, how poorly that speaks of him. And then, when he was asked in, back in 1994, when he was running for the Senate seat against Ted Kennedy, hey, you seem to have very few positions, uh, many, uh, not very many women in positions of power at Bain Capital, which you run, right? Well, he blamed it on two things. First of all, he blamed it on the industry. He said uh, that the industry, quote, didn't attract many women and minorities. Oh, really? The industry that's the highest paying industry in the country, private equity, Wall Street, finance, minorities don't want to be rich. Women don't want to be rich, right? Not just their fault, apparently also business schools fault. Quote, the business schools graduate only a handful of minorities and women. That's what he says in 94. Now you want to know how much the graduating class of Harvard Business School, where Bain Capital did most of their hiring, what percentage were women in 1995, the year after he made that comment? 30%. So what happened? I thought you couldn't find any women. 30% of the class. Now you can say, hey, look, that's much less than 50%. Okay, that's a fair point. But it's 30% of the class and you couldn't find any? Oh, I, oh it's the business school's fault. Oh, it's, it's the industry's fault. It's, and what is he saying? Underneath it, it's women's fault. It's minorities' fault because they didn't enter this field. They didn't go to business school. It's their fault. It's their fault that they didn't want to enter the highest paying industry in the country. Except Harvard Business School, 30% are women. Well, I didn't hire those either, but that their fault, right? So, by the way, um, how many uh, partners at Bain Capital at the time that were women? None. How about vice presidents? 95 men, 9 women. How many minorities? Uh, it appears, according uh, to the HuffPost business here, uh, that from a picture they found, even in 1999, that's when Romney had left the firm, of a 164-person uh, private equity team, they could not find any minorities. It reminds me of Tom DeLay in Vietnam. He says, well, I would have gone to Vietnam, but all the minorities took my spot. <laughs> Here's uh, Mitt Romney saying, I would have hired women and minorities to make a gigantic amount of money, but apparently they didn't want it. But no, no, but Romney's great with women. He's, no, absolutely. He's got binders full of women. Okay, now they're going to have the audacity to run an ad saying how awesome Romney is for women. I love this. Watch this. You know, those ads saying Mitt Romney would ban all abortions and contraception seemed a bit extreme. So I looked into it. Turns out Romney doesn't oppose contraception at all. In fact, he thinks abortion should be an option in cases of rape, incest, or to save a mother's life. This issue is important to me, but I'm more concerned about the debt our children will be left with. I voted for President Obama last time, but we just can't afford four more years. I'm Mitt Romney, and I approved this message. Here's what part of that ad I believe. None of it. You think she voted for Obama last time? Or could it be that she's a paid actor to say that? Anyway, let's put that aside. Let's go to the core of the ad. You see, he doesn't want to take away abortion in all instances. See women, he only wants to take away your reproductive rights in most instances. Now, if you've been raped or your uncle had sex with you, well, is Romney not merciful? He will allow that small percentage to have an abortion. 
Except for the fact that, by the way, he won't. Because he will appoint Supreme Court justices that, by the way, at this point will almost certainly overturn Roe versus Wade, thereby making abortion illegal, period. Romney doesn't get to control their decision. He only gets to control the Supreme Court nominee. So he's going to pick a guy who's against abortion, and they're going to make a decision taking abortion rights away from you. You think it's not going to happen? It's 5-4 right now. All they need is one justice. You think it's not going to happen? It's going to happen. That's what you don't get. Three quarters of the country wants abortion to be legal. But you're going to vote for a guy who's going to make it illegal. And then he has a woman out there, an actress, comes out and says, he wouldn't take away all my abortion rights. And, you know, he says my employer doesn't have to give me contraception, but I guess I could pay it out of my own pocket. So, hey, I could get contraception even though he would make it much harder. I voted for Obama last time, but this time I'm looking to get my ass kicked. So I'm going to vote for Romney. Wow, what a sterling record on women. If you're a woman, it says it's a hard appeal to turn down. 